Hi, hello, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. And this video will be just making use of a new widget called Backdoor Filter and Flutter. So, this Backdoor Filter widget is especially used for applying some filtering effect over the images. And you could see on the right screen, I have just made use of this Backdoor Filter widget to have custom blur rack effect over the image. And for this app, I have just set a background image and I have also placed the same image to be at the center of the app. And I have applied this blur affecting over the background image and I haven't applied any of the affecting over the image what I have placed at the center. So I have just placed both the images at the same screen just to have a visualization of how the effect is being applied over these images. And let's get started with the coding part of how to develop this background filter widget in Flutter. As usual, let's start with the ad bar and let me give the ad bar a title, let's take the text widget and in our case let me give us backdrop filter itself and I'm not going to apply any styling. Now let's just jump into the body, wherein the body I will be wrapping the entire widget of the body inside a container widget and before providing the child for the container, let me provide some decoration for that container using the box decoration. And inside the box decoration, let me provide the color, which is colors.gray. And you can also have a shade of hardware. Followed with uh, opacity, I will be providing uh, 0.55 big wood for a plus like effect. Okay. okay. And for which we'll be providing the image part or the image what we need to have as a background. So let me give the relative path for that image, and I have placed that inside the assets folder and it's using the local assets. So let me give the relative path of that image itself. Okay. Just provided the image as well, and I just want that to fit using the box fit method. I want that to box fit that fill. Okay. Now we have just place the image, and now this container will be having a child, which is again a container widget. Okay. Um, inside that container, let's have a child which is the backdrop filter itself. Followed by in this backdrop filter, we'll be taking a parameter which is a filter. And in this filter is what we need to apply some kind of parameters what we need to have custom filtering effect. Let me have a blur, I just want a blur effect. So I'll just give the blur which takes the sigma x and sigma y values. Let me provide those. First is sigma x, let me give it as 5, which is a simple index or integer value. And again, sigma y value, which is again, let me give it as 5. And after this, we just need to have a child for this backdrop filter. So this child is what we will be dealing, or uh, we just said that in the beginning, the image what we have been placing in the center. Uh, and this backdrop filter image, I just want that image to have a width which is the entire width of the screen. So let me provide that as well using the media coding that size dot width. And similar to the width, I want the height to be the entire device height. So let me provide that as well size dot height. And just format that. Followed by this will be taking a child which is the image what we will be placing in the center. So let me have that into the center widget. And okay. this is the image which takes image parameter. And similar to the previous, let me just copy paste this thing just with the black shape. Okay. Followed by now we also need to set the width and height for the image at the center so for that let me just have the same and but i don't want the entire device width so let me just reduce that 
with some hard coded values and give it as 200. Okay, with this, we just end up creating this JIT hierarchy. Now, let's just test the output. This one the output. Okay, so that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.